Hi, and welcome back to Yoga with Steph. Hope you guys are all well today. And today's um, focus is going to be on kind of a, a mix of things, but um, with the intention of letting go of yesterday and last week and last month and last year and just letting everything go and starting fresh. So to start off, we're gonna do a pranayama to um, get rid of old fears and to make you feel connected into your body um, and be present and grounded. So please come and sit comfortably. Um, remember you're at home, so whatever is accessible for you, if you need to put cushions underneath your butt and elevate your hips up so um, you can just get more comfortable, or if you want to uh, sit on a chair or fold up a blanket and put that underneath you, uh, as well as you could just fold your mat up a few times and then release it when you're, when we're gonna move around a bit. Or you can settle yourself up against the wall behind you. So please come into your version of comfortable. And to start, we are going to, um, you're, you're just going to use one hand and you're going to take your thumb and place it onto the side of the left nostril. All right, so sit up nice and tall, head right over the spine, in line with the spine, and right over your hips. Okay, so make your spine as, as straight as possible. So if, if you, um, when we're doing this and your eyes are closed, sometimes I notice that myself, I'll start moving forward and then I just remind myself to get the spine straight because that is how the energy is gonna be able to rise up through your spine, okay? So we're gonna purify the entire nervous system right now and with the intention of letting everything go that we've already dealt with, encountered, and we need to put it behind us so we can go forward. So please take your thumb, lock off the left side of your nostril, close your eyes, and the rest of the fingers are pointing up, and then inhale really deeply. And exhale. So we're breathing in and out through the right side of the nostril. Mouth closed. Now you're going to take your, your pinky finger 
and you're going to block off the right side of the nostril, breathe through the left, inhale, block off the left, breathe through the right. So we'll alternate, inhale, exhale, And release your hand and just inhale and exhale through the nose, mouth closed. One more deepest inhale ever. And exhale. So we're just going to move the body nice and slow and just, um, it's morning here, so, you know, um, if you've got kids off to school and um, you've already had your coffee or your tea, then we'll just move the body so we can release and let go and start off fresh today okay so please take your right hand down to the side of you and then inhale up and exhale come over to the right just feel your body and switch sides really nice long stretch through the arm and feel that stretch right from the hip all the way through to the fingertips. We're strengthening the adrenal glands right now. So we're gonna do a bit of Kundalini and a bit of half up and just marry the two and marry the breath to the movement. and come back to center so you're gonna take your arms up this time and you're gonna make like a little lotus on top of your head okay so your palms are together fingers and thumbs are pointing up above your head and you're gonna inhale to the left and exhale to the right so however you have to sit to do this and close your eyes and just turn your body and let it all go this is very detoxifying and purifying keep the belly drawn in towards the spine and just in your body, shaking out all that tension, getting the digestive powers 
to be able to optimal or to be able to be at their optimal. You can do this for up to five minutes, but we're not going to today. It's really good for the immune system. So inhaling to the left and exhaling to the right. You can move as slow as you want. You don't have to do this fast. So if it feels good, just move nice and slow and do that. And then come back to center, inhale. Stretch your arms up. Stretch longer, pull the belly into the spine. And then exhale, cactus your arms, open up your chest, squeeze your shoulder blades together. And then inhale back up. And then exhale. Keep going. So you can, because we're sitting and you're not really balancing, you can close your eyes and do this. Just feel the spine lengthen and then open up the heart and the chest. And go ahead and interlock your fingers behind you and then fold forward to your level of fold. And come back up and send your hands back and open up your chest and open up the thigh right now. And release that. Okay, so Now, this is going to work on the navel center, which is your power center. And it's the center for uh, sexuality and creativity. So, strong navel equals strong back. You've heard me say that a thousand times, I'm sure. Um, so, what we're going to do is we're going to do 26 of these. So, you're going to come down onto your belly into cobra. And actually, I, I'll give you I'll, I'll give you two levels, so there's a variation, um, because uh, you're really gonna. <laughs> So you want your, your hands by your chest and you want your elbows hugged in towards your back, okay? So it's like your shoulder blades are squeezing. So you're going to come into cobra and then flip your toes over and press up to plank, okay? So that is the full expression of the posture. And when you're up in plank, you're pushing the, the um, ground away and you are activating the core, right? So everything's nice and tight and the thighs are pulled up, the knees, kneecaps are pulled into the thighs. Okay, so that's variation one. If that's too much, then what you would do is you would go up into cobra and then lift your hips up and lower back down and go up into cobra and back, okay? So that's your variation. Try a few, maybe in the full expression, see where you're at, and, and then um, go into your modified. Okay, so let's begin. So you're going to inhale up into cobra, press into plank. Lower down, inhale up into cobra, press to plank.
So you're inhaling up and exhaling down. Two more. And that's the last one. So you're going to press yourself up and back to a child's pose. So you can keep your knees together and Lower your forehead down, arms stretched out, or you can bring your hands beside you, or you can have your knees really wide and big toes together, sit back to your hips, and lower your chest down. Whatever feels the best for you. Remember, your body is different every day. So just regulate your breathing, stretch out. And then you're going to come and lay down onto your stomach again. And we're going to do 26 M. Okay, I'll demonstrate. <laughs> but we're going to do 26 again. Okay, so you're laying down onto your belly. And then you're going to press yourself up into cow. And then lower yourself down. So that's all we're going to do. So it's just getting the spine moving. You're still working the third chakra, the sunlight center for your willpower and your life. Feels um, really great, actually, these movements for your back. So, so many people have back issues. And this will, this set of Kriyas will fix your back. You can have a break after this. Feel your spine move. Feel your muscles have to adjust. You gotta build the core up to get rid of your back problems. And 
lot of times when you have back problems, you don't fix them. You want someone else to fix them for you. But if your back is weak, you won't have any ambition and willpower to go through your life. So now, we're going we're gonna to do dolphin into cow. Let's see how this goes. <clears throat> okay. So come down onto your forearms. Remember, measure them out to make sure that you have proper shoulder alignment. And then you can go ahead, you can keep your hands flat down because you'll be contracting and pressing out of your shoulders. Or if it makes you feel more stable, you can go ahead and interlock your fingers, but keep your elbows where they were imprinted into the mat. Then look down at your knees. Curl your toes under. Remember, your knees have to be in. Not as much as they can, but if, if they're too far back and you curl your toes under, is, you're going to not even be in dolphin. Okay, so walk your knees in, and your knees are hip width. So curl your toes under, contract the shoulders so you feel that activation, then you know that you're contracting, okay? And then you're going to lift your knees up and back. So we'll just stay here for a second, okay? Because this is such a great shoulder release, shoulder strength builder, core strength, gets into the spine, The light nerve, body, sciatica. Okay, and then now you're going to bend your knees, drop them down, release your head. So this is a form of cow. Okay, and then back up and down. Release the spine. Feel your your back arch. Back up to dolphin. So that's three, okay? So we're gonna do 26. Exhaling down, inhale, contract through the shoulders, push away with the elbows, back down into cow.
three more. And that's the last one. So just stretch out your back again. Set your hips back to your heels. Long, deep breaths. Remembering the intention to feel things and then let them go. So, come up with that. As you can see, a lot of it is back. So, we're going to do a little back bend and open up the heart. And uh, many times, sit hunched over, so your, your heart's closed, your back's rounded, your back's weak, your navel's weak. So we're going to do the opposite. We're going to open up the thyroid. This is going to fire up your metabolism. It's going to elongate the front of your body and you're going to open up your heart. Okay, so remember the theme. You're letting go. So you don't want, you don't want back issues. You don't want to be carrying things from the past in your body that only creates poison and poison creates uh, trauma and headaches and baggage. So we're going to let that go. Okay, so here's your modification. You can go ahead and take your hands, place them on uh, your lower back and then you're going to push your hips forward now you can just hang out right here but think about opening up your chest so you're squeezing your shoulder blades together if you have issues with dizziness balance issues then just go ahead and stay right here okay so that's your modification if you can, go in to the full expression of camel, then you're still sending your hips forward and you can relax into the posture and keep the hips forward. Your butt is kind of squeezed together. And just relax into it and breathe. And then lift yourself back up if you were in the full expression. And you're going to press yourself up into down dog. First down dog. And stretch out the back side of the body now that we did the front. All right, 
So come back down onto your belly again. And you can just be in sphinx pose like this. Okay? Or you can come up into a bit of a, a higher pose here, kind of like seal. And then you're going to, uh, if you don't have any neck issues, then you would stay right here. Now this is really going to think about dropping the shoulders down away from the ears while you do this. So you are getting some compression into the lower back, but it's going to bring some fresh blood flow in and you're just if this is comfortable, stay up here, or you can come down and be supported by your elbows. But same thing, just close your eyes and think about opening your throat. And you can roll your eyes up to the third eye point. And we're gonna do breath of fire. So if you are on the first three days of your moon cycle, then you're going to just do long, uh, deep breathing. And especially, you don't want to have a lot of food in your stomach. So uh, breath of fire is great for first thing in the morning or uh, as long as you don't have much water and food in, okay? So we, we're going to really purify the bloodstream right now and the brain, okay? So you're going to inhale and breathe through your nose and Pump your belly back and forth. So now, just stretch your arms out in front of you. Stretch your hips back. You don't have to touch the heels. Just allow that. If you feel any tension in your body, just move it through. And then come out of that. So, come lay down onto your back. We're going to do um, 26 bridges. So you can you can go quick or you can go slow. All right. So, leg bridge. What? Well. Actually, bring your knees together and squeeze your inner thighs together. 
And if you can, you can bring your hands right to, right beside you or to your heels. Okay, so you're gonna inhale up, keep squeezing the knees together, exhale back down. So you can close your eyes, inhale up, exhale down. If that doesn't feel good, then you can separate your knees if you have knee alignment issues. And then inhale up, exhale down. So squeeze your butt up, exhale back down. And that's 26. Go ahead and fold your knees into your chest. Grab hold of your elbows with opposite hands if you can, or whatever is accessible, but keep your knees drawn into your chest as much as you can. This is really going to help eliminate poisonous gases from the system. Let those all go. And then roll yourself up. Okay. Now, this is just going to release the lower back. And in case you haven't figured out the, you know, the theme and the act, act exercises associated with it, different kriyas. Um, the back. Many times when people have back issues, it's because they're carrying the past with them and um, and that causes you to live in your head and not be able to step forward into your life and then you consequently feel stuck, which is a blockage in your third chakra. So uh, by doing the postures that we were doing, you're, you're releasing the spine and you're um, strengthening the spine and just getting that old trapped energy to move through. So lots of times when there's back issues, there is definitely um, problems with elimination. So, um, and if you think about it, if you can't eliminate properly, then you are definitely carrying poisons in. So um, you're giving yourself a gift by doing this. And if it resonates with you, and then you can do it every day or do it as often as you want. So this one, now you're going to have your right foot, right leg, right foot, toes are up, left heel is pressing into the inner thigh. And now you're going to inhale up and exhale down. And then inhale up. So your hands are in prayer. And exhale down. So it's almost like you're cutting through. And this is a great lower back release. And also it really strengthens the life force in your body by 
strengthening the sciatica and stretching it out. So you can feel that you have to um, <laughs> use your core when you're going up and down. Okay, so you are definitely in the second and third chakra here right now. So lift the arms up and you can also visualize, you can close your eyes and visualize something that you want to cut through. So something that no longer serves you and get rid of it from your life. And then inhale up, consolidate the posture. So squeeze the locks, hold the breath, suspend the breath, seal that energy so it can travel up the spine. And then release. And then you're going to switch legs. So inhale the arms back up again. Exhale, fold. So foot is flexed. And then you're inhaling up and stretching the spine. Exhale and stretch. <laughs> Pulling that belly into the spine when you stretch up. Keep the lower back supported. Just a couple more. Last one. Bringing the arms up. Stretch up as tall as you can. Palms pressing together. Pull the lower belly into the spine. Squeeze a lot. Suspend the breath. Consolidate. Shake them out. All right, so now we're going to wrap it up. Let's take a little twist. So So I have my left knee folded and my right foot in front of my ankle. If your hips are tighter, you might be up with this, okay? But that's okay. So do the best that you can. And so you're going to step into that right foot. You're going to take that right hand to your left knee and left hand behind you. So inhale through center, nice and straight, this is for your spine. Exhale, twist and look behind you. And breathe. And then come back through center. And you're going to switch sides again. Okay, so left hand to the right knee, right hand behind you. Inhale through center, sit up nice and straight. Exhale, twist, look behind you. Breathe, soften into the posture, but don't let the spine go. Don't drop the, the shoulders down. Detoxify. And come back through center. 
bring the feet together into Padakonasana. So you're going to take the thumbs and place them into the inside of the arches and wrap the fingers around the outsides of the feet. Open up the hips and then pull your chest through and then exhale around. This feels really good actually. So elbows come into the rib cage. So we're just gonna move any trapped energy through the spine. Just rock it back and forth, move it out. Let go of any tension that's in your body. through, open up, and release, and then maybe you can just fold over, and so come into Sakasana. Squeeze the lots.
and then re release your fingers and then just bring your right ear down to your right shoulder. Just relax your jaw and your face. And then let your head up nice and slow and bring your left ear towards your left shoulder. Don't let that right shoulder hike up. You want to stretch that out. And then drop your chin down and stretch out the back of the neck. And then lift your head up and let your head come back if, if that feels comfortable for you now. If you have neck issues, just be really uh, gentle. And then interlock your fingers and stretch them out in front of you. Pull the belly into the spine and press your palms out forward. And then lift your arms straight up, stretch up, belly in. And maybe just go back and forth a couple of times. Bring your arms back down in front of you. And release your hands down, bring them into prayer. Rub your hands together. Activate your energy again. And take your thumbs, press them into your third eye point, roll your eyes out to that point, to that space. yourself the blessing. Activate the pineal gland so you have sharper intuition and greater trust in your abilities to make proper decisions for yourself. And release your hands back down to your heart. Take a deep inhale. Inhale ever through this glass. Inhale and exhale. Release your hands, shake it out, let it all go. So, thank you for tuning in to yourself, to your practice, and practicing with me and allowing me to give you the space that you need to contemplate things that you are holding on to that you don't need to and um, where it gets stored in the body so just let that go and just feel confident that you can walk through life with a stronger purpose and maybe a little more drive and a little more creativity um, so that is my wish for you thank you very much again and enjoy the rest of your day bye